Hello everyone and welcome back to Galaxy 2, Mario Galaxy 2. So in the last one we did some stupid stuff, and in this episode we're doing more stupid stuff, whatever that happens to be. So is there actually anything left to do here? Let's see, uh, no, no. Oh, we do have the Comet Medal for this one, which I might go back for. But other than that... Yeah, it seems like we've done everything. I kind of want to go back for to the uh, to this for the comet medal, but I'll do that later, I guess. So let's go to the second area. Let's go to back the puzzle plank because there seems to be another star here. As long as I have the comet medal, I'm fine. Like I'll go back to a level. I, I don't know why. Something about the comet medal. Like I just don't want to go back and find it because I I'm not good. At, I'm not good at finding stuff. Unless it's actually, you know, in the obvious, like some of them are. In some of them, they're not even hidden. They're kind of like in the path, you know, they're just in the the, the playing path, if that makes any sense. So this is a hidden star. Where is this hidden star? What are you? Hello. Here's a tip. You can press Z in mid -air to ground pound. Do you want to see? No, I do not. Because I already know how to do that. Haha. <laughs> What is this? This is, well, ground pound it. Star bits? Thanks, I guess. Okay, so hidden stars are also kind of meh for me, because it's like, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where they are, obviously. Like, I've never, like I said in the last video, I've never played the game, so I just don't know where they are. Do I need to, yeah, I need to hit this. And then we can go ahead and hit this, and there we go. So there is a coin in there. Sometimes the coins will give you like notes, I guess. Like, and sometimes those were like those will lead to like a hidden thing. So that might be the case for this. But I always do want to collect some star bits because you never know. Well, unless you play the game, I guess. But uh, you know, I I don't know if it's gonna be like a hungry Luma that wants coins or you know whatnot. So let's hit all these, because this might be something worthwhile. Might just be coins and star bits, though. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, actually, I can. Uh, what's this from again? It's um super whatever, right? <laughs> super whatever, right? That's a really good, interesting name for a game, if I do say so myself. Okay, that's just for one-ups. Cool little jingle out of it, so whatever, right? So it seems like you can go un Well, actually, no, this is just to raise the platforms, is it not? Oh, Hungry Luma, that wants coins. Hello. You want 70 coins. But, actually, no, what am I talking about? The other one was the 70 coins, so hmm, we need to get 70 coins. But is that going to be an easy task? Most likely not. Kind of hoping it was star bits, because star bits are, you know, generally a lot easier to get. They tend to drop a lot more of them. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Whatever. At least coins do heal us, so it doesn't even matter too much if we take damage. But we're not even at 20 coins, so... I don't even know. What does that do? Just more coins. Okay. But the thing is, if we leave this planet, then- oh, there's a pipe here, actually. Are you coins? Yes, you are. Thank you. So, like the last level, it just, you know, it just puts coins here. That's cool. I'm missing all but one. Don't do this to me, game. I hope we don't need every single coin. But, uh... Okay. That is 72. We need 80. Okay, nothing left here. Is there anything like on the walls? Just because Nintendo, they kind of like to do that kind of stuff. So, it could also be very possible that I missed coins at the beginning and there's like no way to actually go back for them, right? So hopefully that's not the case because that might actually be... Can I pound these? I can. Does this do anything for me? Let me go over here. I don't 
think this was 80 wasn't it or was it like 70 i think it's 80 oh 70 okay <laughs> never mind i was about to like sit here and restart never mind well that's that teaches me that's gonna teach me to actually you know be more observant oh my god i was about to restart the level i'm i was gonna be like okay guys i'll i'll see you in a little bit and it's like nope so tree land Ooh, it's more clouds. More cloud shenanigans. That's the title of this video. Cloud shenanigans. Not really, because that sounds stupid. Like this video. And me. I don't need to be too sparing, I guess, with the clouds, because it is giving me refills. Refills. Or whatever. Oh, you know what? Uh, let me get rid of these. Okay, you can still do it. Let me let me try something. Nope. I wanna <laughs> I wanna backflip game, not do this. Okay. I assume you have three hits or at least two. Okay, now you're yeah, okay, you're flying. Was this not in Mario Galaxy 1? Cause I swear it was. And that is a really weird place for a thing. I can't spin. I can't. Okay. <laughs> and bam. One more hit. Probably. Yep. And this time you're going to be faster. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Get back up. And camera. Do stop. Oh, now you're. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, more clouds. And now you're pooping out like whoopers. Or something. You know, the stupid chocolate candy. <laughs> I'm funny. Can the camera, like, not do this, please? Like, I don't know why the camera is, like, facing down at Mario. That's not really helping. <laughs> like, it's facing down. And... Oh, what? I d uh, did it too soon. I suck at games, guys. Like, I told you this. Okay, just let you pass. I know to everyone who's watching this, you're probably like actually cringing, but whatever. Oh, these, I didn't know they went away. There we go. That's all I had to do, but no, I had to go get hit. And I had to suck. Well, there is like the first eight or so minutes of the video. Uh, I don't like it when it takes me that long to get a star, but that's mainly because I, like, I'm just being dumb and my my normal usual shenanigans are just getting in the way of me doing stuff right hidden star bugaboom so let's go back and i guess let's see okay so we did okay that this is basically clear although not really because there's no crown so maybe down the line like it'll keep adding stars i don't know how the game works what boulder bowl? Is this the area where we turn into a rock and then we can like shake the Wii remote and like do cool stuff? Rock and roll. Rolladillo. Yes. Whatever. Yep, so we got a new rock ability, which I'm pretty sure was not in the first game. I say pretty sure and then it's gonna be like, no Joe, it was in the first game. Then it's like, oh. So I assume you gotta kill these guys. These guys aren't electric, are they? I don't think they are, but they're like yellow, so it's scaring me. Dead. Well, that was hard. You transformed into Rock Mario. We got some like rock overalls and stuff. This does not look comfortable, by the way. Like just the way that Mario looks. Like he looks like he would be really uncomfortable. Pins. Strike! We did it! I don't know if there was any point to that or not. Okay, I was really scared because I didn't know if I needed to like shake the Wii remote, but it just did it automatically. So, can I control this? Yeah, I can. That's actually really cool. Okay, so I can break these because in the other one you had to hit the red spot, but now it's like I can hit these no matter where. And it's like, yes. I have the power. The power is mine. 
So I assume if you get hit, we lose it. That's why there's another rock mushroom there. Or if it's because you're stupid and you actually, you know, die. Oh, you can... Oh, okay, you can break the fence. So I'm going to take it easy and I'm actually going to kill these guys manually because I kind of suck at video games. I don't know if you guys actually know this. But yeah, I don't want to... I don't need to be going and dying. Because that's not fun. That's not fun when you die constantly. Okay, you are dead. Thank you. I don't know if you can actually turn off the rock ability like while you're rolling. Maybe it's like as soon as you hit something, you just stop rolling. I would assume that's how that works. But whatever. Ooh, Luma. Hello. If you need health, shoot a uh, star bet at one of those shiny spots. Okay, so I assume we need to kill all the chain chomps. Well, kill is a harsh. Oh, we we just hit the toad. Jeez, that must have hurt. This is why toad can't be. In, wait, do we break this actually? Okay, yeah, we do. This isn't the launch star, but let's see. Oh, oh, there's a boss. Hello. Can I afford your stuff? You're gonna you're gonna want thirty. I bet you thirty. What? Yeah. Th God. No. Well, hopefully we don't need it, but it does seem like a boss battle of sorts. And I have no idea what this boss is want expecting of me, so... Wanting, expecting. Oh, it's an armadillo. Well, the title makes sense. So I assume I gotta ram into your butt. That would be the most logical course of action, and yes it is. Okay. I assume you're going to, like, hide your butt. I can roll two. Okay, it does run out. It does run out. Good to know. And... Bam. I assume one more hit. I assume one more hit. Let's go. Okay, so I can't actually shake out of the rock. So I guess that makes sense. Oh! I thought you were going to get dizzy. Okay, get dizzy. Is it gonna get dizzy or am I gonna get hit? You are dizzy. You fool! Are you dead? You are not dead. What? You can't have more than three hits in a Mario game. Actually, you don't even need to roll. <laughs> you can just simply walk out of the way. I was gonna like, get hit. And <laughs> I was gonna be like, nope. See, I can do those things without getting hit, and then it's like, actual easy platforming is no, a no-go for me, because for some reason, uh, like, I'm one of those weird people who's, like, I'll be good at hard stuff, and then I'll suck at easy stuff. It makes literal, like, literal no sense, but I don't know, it's, it's so weird, it's so dumb. <laughs> it's just how it works, I guess, it's, it's so weird. But we got the Armadillo Man! Armadillos lurk in your toaster! I don't think anyone will even understand that reference. That's like a very, very old thing. Rock. Yes. Rock Mushroom. I would assume the Gorons would like really like that mushroom. So we should have enough time. Again, enough and not enough. But we should have enough time for one more star. Assuming it's not too long. And let's see what we can do. Is there another star here? No, there is not, but there is a comment medal that I didn't get. How much do you want? 700. We have 342. And let's go to Water Galaxy, Cosmic Cove. What a cool name, actually. I like that. So, judging on those two waterfalls in the picture there, uh, we might be getting the ice power up. That would seem likely. Well, let's see. Or, uh, no, wait, we don't get the ice power up. We turn, like, the water into ice. Yeah, it's not as cool. I don't even know if the ice flower is in this game. It might not. I don't actually remember. Hello, penguin. Hello. What do you want? Talk, Mario. Oh, hey there. Everyone is out doing their swimming drills. So I think if you hold a shell, you actually move faster, but I don't know if these become active again. 
and for some reason there's like a flashlight on the on the thing that doesn't really make sense but oh well hopefully the koopa doesn't just instantly come back out there is a launch star there but i'm not going to deal with it and let's get some air bubbles and let's see what's up okay waterfall I don't want to shake the weir remote because I'm pretty sure if we shake the weir remote we actually throw this, which I don't want to do that. And the controls are kind of weird, although it's not too bad I guess. So I did see a coin luma so there might be a hidden coin objective, well not might be, there probably, you know, most likely is Mario. <laughs> The controls, the camera angles, yeah, but there's a coin luma over there. Oh, comet metal. I see you in the conch. The magic conch. Okay, yeah, okay, spinning does do that. So, is it me, like, the spinning get stuff, let me see. I swear that spinning gets star bits, like when you're in the water. I think it does. It gets the shell, that's for one. Okay, so let us activate this button. This button, I think, will freeze the water, which would make sense. Yes, it does. But the question is, is this on a time limit? I assume it is, because I don't think it would be permanent. But, we need to constantly spin, or constantly shake the remote. I'm seeing all these coins. And we- nope. <laughs> Depth perception. There we go. <clears throat> and what a what a nice fast star. See, some of these stars are good. I love these stars. All of these ones that are just really quick. And it's like, there's no thought. Well, no thought as in like, you know, you don't need to do anything. You just kind of go to point A, point B. Like, there's no puzzle solving. There's no anything. You just do it. So there we go, I believe three stars in this video, so that seems like a good place to stop. So how many stars we have? We have 20, that is nice. I believe we started this session with 13 or 14. So is this a new galaxy, or is this just Bowser? I assume that's just a Bowser thing, but anyway. I'm going to stop the video here guys, so in the next one we will either go back to that galaxy and feed the Luma, or I'll just continue on. Like I said, I might actually go ahead and, you know, kind of beat the game and then go back and get the stars that I'm missing. I don't actually know. But that'll be decided when it's decided. Th probably never. But anyway, see you guys later and goodbye.